welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. New day, day 10, and we have finally gotten to sequencers. A part that has been missing for a long time now, but so has any other part that we haven't made yet. So uh, today we are at sequencers, and of course, uh, what better way to begin than with the classic baby 8 or baby 10 if you prefer the 10 step sequencer. I'm personally going to use make a baby 8 uh, because that's more in the line of the genres I work in. So what you see here is a lunch box a baby 8 so far half built. It, I'd say it's half built of a basic uh, baby 8. You can extend this very much and I probably will make two this video about the baby 8 two parts because just to go through all the things you can do with it. Uh, it's a really simple design based on the 4017 CMOS circuit uh, decayed counter uh, and we'll look closer at that and how we can Build the basic one and how we can add a few things to make it more stable and better in many ways. And this one is, as I said, half built. There's potentiometers for CV, but there are no switches yet for uh, gates. Uh, but as you can hear, it's still uh, musical. And uh, in this right now, the it is actually stepped by uh, a NOR gated two clock signals that are NOR gated, so it takes two steps, pauses for two steps, and takes two steps again. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, so before we go in and look on how to build this, I'd like to say thank you to my Patreons, who over and over just support me in all my endeavors, whatever they may be, and hopefully they get something extra out of it on my Patreon page, which you can too if you want to go over and check that out. With that said, let's get building. The Baby 8 or the Baby 10 as it began its life as, I guess, is a really simple circuit. It's built around the 4017, which is a CMOS circuit in the CMOS 4000 series. Uh, which takes a clock input and then it's a decayed counter so it counts from 0 to 9 on 10 outputs. So on the first clock it go this pin 3 goes high, then pin 2, then pin 4, then pin 7 and so on up until uh, pin 11 and then it starts all over from pin 3. It has a reset pin, so any time during this cycle you can reset it, and that is how you make this into a baby 8. So on Q8, pin 9, you add just the output to the reset pin, and it just counts 8 steps. Of course, this opens up for possibilities to interrupt this sequence on any of these steps. Uh, so you could have a 1 to 4 instead of 1 to 8 step count. One of many implementations of this sequencer is on Hackaday. If you search for Hackaday Oh Baby Baby 10 or something like that, you will find this implementation that is very true to the original. So it's basically the 4017 chip and you have the 8 outputs, or 10, or whatever you want to have, and then they all go to, down to a variable resistor that goes between... So it doesn't show very well here, but it is between the voltage from the output pin on one side, ground on the other side, and the middle pin the wiper pin is connected via a diode to CV out. The diode is needed in this case so uh, voltage from one of the pins doesn't go back and down and light up the LEDs that are over here, 
with a resistor, LED and down to ground. And this is to show the step as you move along the steps. So let me show you how this might look like in uh, action. So here's a lunchbox baby eight. And the reason it looks like this is because this, the, I actually did this first board here with the potentiometers as one of the first modules in modular in a week, uh, which I then decided to not continue and do the whole sequencer because I wanted to do all the other modules first. And then I've just been pushing it uh, further <laughs> along the way. And now, uh, when I sat down and did this, I added my protoboard to make the connections to the uh, 4017 much easier. So basically, you have the 4017, there is a, a few, just a resistor connected to ground on the clock pin uh, to make sure that the clock pin stays low when you don't have an input signal. The enable pin is connected to ground and then it's just pins that go out to the potentiometers to a diode and out to the CV bus going out there. And along with that there's the LED with the resistor to ground. And this is the Baby 8. Now this can be modified in so many ways and one of the first things that I'd like to do is to add uh, switches for the gate signal so you can choose to make rhythmic gates at the same time as you make the notes on the potentiometers. And because I do, I've, I've been tinkering with this a long time so here is another setup it's the same thing you have the eight potentiometers and you have the eight LEDs but then you all and then on the other board you have the 4017 but you also have switches here which are connected in the same way as the potentiometers you have the going output from the 4017 into the switch and into a diode and that makes it possible in this case uh, to make rhythms with these switches. Not very ergonomic, but it's just a example board for building a BB-8. So I'll link in the description to this schematics so you can check it out yourself and build one of these. Uh, make sure you have room for some extra tweaks uh, as we continue in the next episode to look at this. So right now we have it only playing uh, CV notes. So the we have a clock input from the simple divider and CV out going into the AACVCO on exponential CV. Uh, in this case it doesn't matter if it's exponential or linear uh, because we just we just whatever we do with the uh, pots gives us whatever uh, voltage we want. And uh, the so I connected this wrong so the all the pots are connected the wrong way so if I turn counterclockwise it goes higher and if I turn clockwise it goes lower so that's wrong and it's quite easy to find the right tone so here we have a few notes and then the last ones all have the same value so it just stays constant there and we don't have the switches right now so this is only CV and you can get a melody like this of course we want the switches as well but I want to say that you don't need to have this these switches doing the gating so what we can do is we can 
uh, if we route this in here we can get this kind of sound because this is just gated by another uh, faster uh, gate from the simple divider it's still it's only a As you can see, I haven't really gotten around to finding a good uh, format for this yet. Uh, and if you do a search online, you will find loads of different ways you can design this. You In the Hackaday thing, you saw they made a round uh, module or a round sequencer. And that is quite common. You put a module in here with a round sequencer that just is a BB-8. Uh, this, I have this the idea of this one and uh, also I have a panel that I've also done, if I showed that in the beginning, um, that was also an idea but none of them are thought through good enough for me to make a module out of them yet. So right now it's just a lot of testing with these sequencers uh, because they are really open for testing things. Right now I have a sequence running on this one. Uh, can't hear it, but there's a sequence running on this one. All the gates are off except the first one. And that gate is then the clock input to this one. So this one runs at, or this one runs at one eighth of the tempo of this one. So they're synced, but in a slow manner. So this could be a slow bass or chord kind of thing. And this one could be something faster. I can just start this one and this one will go twice as fast. For example. We'll continue look at this in the next episode. Uh, but so if you build this, make sure you have lots of space on that uh, Vero board or proto board or whatever board you're using. Uh, and uh, we'll add to this in the next episode. Hope you like this. And please let me know of all the modules that you are building in this. And if you make a jam, make sure that you show me uh, I've had an idea that I, I actually should uh, collect all a lot of jams together so I can just publish them or show them to uh, you. Not all of you see all the 
amazing modules that other people do with in the same concept, with the same modules, but their take on it. And it's, I think it's awesome to see uh, that we're a bunch of people actually making uh, modulars uh, right now. I know there's been people doing modulars all the time, but right now there's a lot of people who together kind of are making a module. I think that's great. So anyway, take care. Bye.